This is PSNN, the Pink Sombrero News Network, the only network that makes it okay to wear pink. PSNN! I'm Bill with PSNN, the only network that makes it okay to wear pink. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, in the studio, one that took me years to claw my way into, I'm joined by one of last year's United Way captains to review the highlights of the 2011 campaign and what a campaign it was. And as always, we hear from our talented pink weather gal who says, get ready to hold on to your pink sombrero, it's gonna get windy in here. Before we get to our special studio guest, let's go out to the field for a brief update from Stephen on how things are shaping up for October Madness. Stephen. Thanks, Bill. We're just a couple weeks away from October Madness, and I've had the chance to make my rounds with most of the ELT members and basketball league participants, and let me tell you, there is a lot of testosterone brewing here at the Edwards campus. I'm joined briefly today by Edwards' very own Director of Risk Management, Sandra Litwin. Sandra has been up for several nights now, worrying about the safety of both the spectators and the participants of October Madness. Sandy, May I call you Sandy? Yes, you can call me Sandra. How are you feeling about this event, and more importantly, what protection does Edwards have against those ELT members going wild? We have insurance. Thanks, Sandy. Sandra? Well said. Now, Bill, back to you in the studio. Riveting, Stephen. Simply riveting reporting. Keep it up. In a few years or a lot longer, you may be sitting here in my seat. Now, I'm joined at the desk tonight with a special guest, Gina Codd, one of Edwards' United Way ambassadors last year, who is here to share just what Edwards accomplished during the 2011 campaign. Gina, tell us, how did it go? Amazing would be an understatement, Bill. Simply, EW did the following thanks to the warm hearts and the community service-oriented culture we had. In 2009, we raised $132,000, and in 2011, we raised $203,000. That's a 54% increase. Participation has grown, too, from 380 to 597, and that, that's a 57% increase. So, payroll deductions account for 70% of our participants, so that is definitely going to be the way to go. Our goal for 2012 is to beat the 203,000 that we did last year. And given what we've accomplished this past several years and the continuous graciousness of our employees, I'd say we're well positioned to hit the mark and perhaps even exceed it next year. Back to you, Bill. Gina, very nice to have you here. Thank you for coming in. It sounds like you have an amazing group there at Edwards. Well, before we conclude this broadcast, it's that time to check in with our lovely PSNN weather gal, Jackie Lee. Jackie. Thanks, Phil. As you can tell, it's really windy out there. And what better way to keep your hair from becoming a super mess than with this form-fitting security of my pink sombrero. Remember, the pink sombrero not only protects us from the wind, but it also represents the support and protection that the United Way provides the many less fortunate people we have living right here in the OC. Bill? Jackie, that's some solid reporting. Keep that up, and in a few years or in a lot longer, you could be sitting here in my seat. Jackie? Thanks, Bill. Bill? Thanks, Jackie. So this about wraps us up for this broadcast. We've covered some great segments, and as I've been told by our producer, I must remind all of you that tickets for the Edwards October Madness are still on sale. Go see the ELT smash the basketball challengers into submission. This is PSNN signing out. Good night. P.S.